This is God's house, and He is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. Hello, my Sunday School friends. I'm so glad that you're at Sunday School with me again today. Today we're going to talk about what God wants for Christmas. What do you think that is? What do you think God wants for Christmas? Okay, well, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's start with lighting our candles. Five little candles burn so bright. The first one said, we make a great light. The second one said, the child is born. The third one said, our light will adorn. The fourth one said, we shine for him. today. Oh, there's one box left. I wonder what's inside. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. What God wants for Christmas, now here's the surprise. In gift and box number seven, where it's been disguised. Peek in the box for so long you've waited. What God wants is you, the one he created. Could you see what was inside the little yellow present box? It was a mirror. What's a mirror? What do you see when you look in a mirror? You see you when you look in a mirror and I See me. We were in that present box because what God wants for Christmas is us. God wants to be our friend, to love us, and for us to love him at Christmas. On Jesus' first birthday at Christmas, he got a lot of really expensive gifts. But what Jesus wants for his Christmas birthday 
It's for us to talk to him like a friend in prayer. If you want to give Jesus the best Christmas present ever, what you can give him is your love. You can be his friend, and you can let him love you back. We've been playing with this little setup that we have here. It has little people who were there at the first Christmas, the first birthday of Jesus at Christmas time. And some of the people that are there, you have a shepherd who take care of sheep, and you have angels. Here's an angel, and the angels sing real pretty, and there was the wise men who gave Jesus gifts at Christmas. And we set this up. We call it a nativity. We set up this nativity to make us feel like we were there with Jesus on his first birthday at Christmas. It makes us feel connected to him in that first Christmas day. When you think about Jesus and share with him your thoughts and your feelings in prayer and feel good feelings of love and kindness for him during Christmas time, you let Jesus into your heart and into your life. And that's what Jesus wants for Christmas, to be in your life and you to be in his life. So the best present we can give God for Christmas is us and be his friend. Let's end our Sunday school together by doing the repeat after me prayer. So I'll say one part and then you say it after me, okay? Dear God, thank you for giving the world Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being my friend. Help me feel your love and be your friend every day. Amen. Thank you for coming to Sunday School again, and I look forward to seeing you next week, and I want you to have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.